Hey guys and welcome at the series about Sitecore Basics. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a campaign. Campaigns is a way of Sitecore um, that can be used to measure the effect of external channels that are used within your marketing campaigns. So let's say that you have um, an event and you have certain external channels like email or social, uh, for example LinkedIn or Facebook where you have different posts or ads and you want to measure the effect of those channels on your Sitecore site. And perhaps you even want to see what the behavior or the differences in behavior is for, for visitors that are coming from the different channels. You can use a campaign within Sitecore. And what it technically does is when you have a URL like, uh, for example, www.domain.com, um, and you have a landing page, you can use this URL in your external posts. Um, but with a campaign, you will add something like a question mark and then essay and discover camp is ABC and a very long number. Um, and this is generated for you once you have created your campaign. And this is a way for Sitecore to understand that someone is coming from a certain campaign. And it's similar to the Google UTM um, uh, option that is also added to the URLs. So let's see how we can create a campaign. Um, to do that, I'm going to the campaign creator. And in here, we are going to create a campaign and we are going to specify for which channel this specific campaign should run. So to create a campaign, you can simply click the create campaign activity button and it will show you a form. Now I can, for example, say um, event name linked in uh, ad. Let's say that it's an ad. And I can use a start date and end date. I will leave it empty for now. And I can also use some campaign facets. Now I don't have anything configured here, but it can be used to categorize your campaigns. So it can be further analyzed in analytics. So for example, you can create a campaign facet like uh, uh, organizational unit or department, um, like HR or marketing, um, or perhaps you can do something with a product category group. Um, anything that you would like to use and to analyze can be configured here. Um, something else that you can do is the channel. So there are out of the box a lot of default channels that you can use. And remember, this is only metadata, so you can narrow down in the analytics. Uh, but for now, we have um, an online social, no, no, let me check, it's paid, an online paid search LinkedIn ad, for example. So now I can see how all campaigns, for example, for the LinkedIn ads perform. So we'll leave that as it is. I can now click the save button. And once it's saved, you can see that it's named here now. I can scroll down and you can see that you have this um, campaign link created. I can copy um, it and I should be able to paste it in here. I didn't copy it right. Let me do it again. And this should be an example URL that can be used in the LinkedIn ad on the LinkedIn channel. And from now on, if the campaign is of course published, but every user that is clicking the specific ad is directed to your site with this URL and is triggering the campaign. So further analyzing and, and, and um, configurations and personalizations are possible. Um, so you can do something on a homepage, for example, like you have, uh, 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 please subscribe to our event if you don't already have and make it really personal. 